Welcome! In this session, we will learn how to construct a neural network model. So we are here in R, and the first thing that we're going to do is to install the neural network package. So I'm going to write install.packages neural net. As I have already installed the neural net package, I'm not going to press enter, but if you haven't installed it, you have to press enter. I'm going, I'm now I'm going to put this package on the library, library neural net, and I press enter. Now I have this package in my library. Now I'm going to construct the model, uh, a, a very simple model that will have just one hidden layer with two neurons. So I'm going to write model one equals to the function neural net of the package neural net. This one that our studio is suggesting me. And now I'm going to put several arguments. The first one will be the formula. And the dependent variable of this formula, let's see, let's go to see the, the data set. You can see that we have two dependent variables, the folder flag and the folder type. We're going to use the folder flag. So I'm going to write the formula. Let me see here. The folder flag equals, and in this case, we have to press Alt 126 with that symbol. That is like the equal symbol that we have to use. And if I put just one period, I'm telling R, use all the variables in the data sets that are not the folder flag. But we have to remember that we have two dependent variables, the folder flag and the folder type. So use all the variables less the folder type. Then use the data set training the data set training, comma, chief enter, so I go to the second line, use uh, two neurons. If I don't specify the number of layers, it, it, will, it, will, it will know by default that there is just one layer with two neurons. And uh, please, uh, let's remember the other parameters. The other parameters is the error factor a differentiable function that is used for the calculation of the error. And we are going to use SSE, which stands for the sum of square errors. So we are going to write error FCT equals to SSE, comma. The threshold, we will define it as 0 0.05. We can remember what, what threshold was is a numeric value specifying the threshold for the partial derivatives of the ROR function as a stopping criteria. Then I press Chief Enter and I write linear output equals true. So I'm telling this model, that I'm telling R that I don't want uh, a smoothing on this model, on the results of this model. Then I press Enter and I will have to wait several minutes and for respect to your time, I'm going to pause this video. And after several minutes, the model has converged and we can see the model one here in the global environment, a large neural network. And we can see several variables inside the, this large neural network. And we are going to call the result matrix directly from the console. So we write model one, the sign of dollar, result dot matrix we press enter and you can see over there all the coefficients of our model now let's plot this model directly from the console let me clean the screen plot model one i press enter oh sorry plot model one and then i press enter here And you can see over here our first model, a model with one layer and two neurons. You can see over here all the um, independent variables, the coefficients that go to the neurons, and then the coefficient of the neurons that go directly to the uh, dependent variable. 
With this, we are finishing this session. In the next one, we are going to test the quality of this model. Thanks for watching.